Alice the Car Doctor. Welcome back to another Diag video, good people. Today's patient is a very nice looking 17 Chevy Suburban with the 5.3, and it has about 60,000 miles on it. So, no ticking issues yet. <laughs> Had to throw that one out there. Now, the reason it's in the shop. Um, I already made sure it was safe to drive. Like I always say, anytime you get a vehicle in and the customer is complaining about any type of noise, pull it in, make sure it's safe. What I mean by that, making sure the wheels are not coming off, making sure the suspension is tight, shake it down. Um, you just don't wanna be driving down the street and something fall off and cause you to wreck a, a $60,000, $70,000 truck. So now I'm about to drive it and verify the complaint. Come on, sweetie, let's roll. We, we riding this style today. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pull out so you can get in. Uh. Oh, you know what? I like getting in cars that's clean and smell nice. Yes, she it smells very nice. We need a we need a bus like this, man. I'm out. Go get me one from the dealership I or know something. You ain't talking to me about no bus. You made me sell my. You know what? <laughs> Look. This is a this is a Chevy. I'm more of a Chevy guy. Uh, <laughs> I like Chevy for some odd reason. Uh, now the customer owner, the patient's owner, is complaining about when she make right turns, she hear this awful noise. Now this vehicle was looked over by um, Superior Chevrolet down the street from my area in Decatur. So we about to see. How good they are. Did they leave anything out? Did they tell her the truth? Um, lately I've been on the road with calling out people. We about to see if the dealership is gonna get called out today. Um, everything feels nice so far. I'm about to take it in this little parking lot and, and do some UEs and see what I hear. Hopefully it's not gonna be that hard to hear something. I heard it. You heard it? Yeah, but I thought it was something in it. Let me try again. Oh, Ooh, it sounds awful. Eesh, let me take this thing back. <laughs> All right, so got the, got the noise verified. Now it's time to take it back, and we are going to inspect this thing together like always. So I'll see you back at the shop. jack points now because you don't want this big old truck falling on your head so I want to make sure I got it on the rack right the other side eh, I'm happy with that that's all right all right let me go grab my light because you know me, I never have what I need. <laughs> it's time for the shakedown. No, I already shook this down, but I kind of want to give you the, the look of it and show you what I did before this video. So basically I grab the wheel, rock it back and forth like that. It should feel nice and can firm. You, can you do that again? Yes. <laughs> I'm just shimmy, gonna... shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> <laughs> then I grab it like this. This checks for any like ball joints or looseness, like severe looseness, because you still can have ball joint looseness even if this feels firm. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to check the ball joints, the proper way to check the ball joints once I get it up um, after we look this thing over. So let's continue to go up with it. Oh. I need to show you the the right up. Place this bad boy down in the locks. Now, before we look at this, we're gonna see what the dealership had to say about it. And let's see how it compares with Alex the Car Doctor findings. Alright, so let's see. 
free program and I'm guessing that was some type of warranty stuff. Vehicle makes popping sound when turning, mostly right turns. Guess the diagnostic was $170. Um, they recommend, dang, I don't lost. Okay, estimate for control arm and sway bar link. And it looks like that's it. Just lower control. Uh, just say control arm. Don't say lower or upper. So let's see what we find. Alrighty. Let's take a look. Um, I can tell this truck has been up north. Done spent, spent some time up north because I can see a lot of rust. Alright. So already I see the problem that I, the noise that I was hearing, this sway bar link is completely broken and these are fresh marks. So every time I turn, this will make contact with that, making that awful noise. Uh, also, I see a lot of oil wetness down here. Uh, it's very hard to say where it's coming from, um, but most of the time it's gonna be from this oil cooler gasket right here so i'm gonna recommend one because it could be seeping down over the oil filter and making its way down here and splashing back here um i always try to recommend the simple fix first before i start looking into major problems but that's all i see with that yeah i don't know why the dealership didn't recommend that Yes, that's something they miss. Um, this way bar link is intact, but since they're sisters, meaning well, twins, I'm gonna recommend both at the same time. Uh, Cause I, the last thing I want is I put that one on and this one gets stretched out and popped too. Um, now the lower control arms, I'm gonna need my big pliers because the boots, the dust boots look like they're in place. They're not ripped. I don't see any grease coming out, but that does not mean they're necessarily bad if you don't see. I think I said that right. I, I, I'm jumbled up my words. <laughs> uh, normally when they're cracked open, they're straight up bad. But when they're intact like this, um, they still could be, ha they still could have some play in them. Um, so I'm gonna check for play in a bit after I finish looking over everything. So I like to work my way back here, making sure I don't have no other leaks. Check the differential, all looks good. Brakes looks good. Make sure I don't have nothing torn up back here. I like to touch everything when it comes to inspecting stuff. Now a customer might wanna know, why do y'all inspect stuff when I'm only here for X, Y, and Z? Um, because I'm the last person that touched this vehicle. The last thing I want is something else to happen. And then they blame me. Say, oh, why you didn't say nothing about it? Or the famous line, it wasn't doing that Ex when I... Exactly. I try to protect myself and I try to protect my customers at the same time. Um, that's the reason I do a courtesy inspection because like my wife mentioned, I don't want them to leave my shop. Oh, it wasn't doing that before. It wasn't leaking before. Well, it was leaking. Yes. Today. <laughs> yeah, so I notate everything. So let me find my pliers. I don't know where I put them. Maybe they're up here. Uh, nope. Yep, right here. Cool. Now, this next test is pretty cool. What I do with my pliers is I compress. Want me to hold your light? Oh, it's, it's, oh it's you're fancy. <laughs> Magnet, huh? Yeah. So I compress the ball joints to, together and um, you shouldn't have any play uh, when I compress it. So I'm about to check for that now. So I take my pliers through this way, you can get a better view. I'm gonna place the top of the pliers up top and I'm gonna place the other down below and squeeze. Now this will take some strength to do. It's like this one has a small amount of play um, it shouldn't be moving like that. I don't Let know if see, you can, can see, see it. The yeah, I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's so minute. Okay. So it's it's starting to wear. It shouldn't have that play. Now I'm gonna go up top and check the upper one the same way. And I have no play up here. So that side 
Um, this side is okay, but I am still going to recommend a lower control arm on that one, on that side. So let's take a look at this one. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, wow. You definitely can see that, can you? Let me get over here. Let me reposition myself. Yes. Yeah, that one is pretty bad. Um, but that's not the main cause. This is just like secondary complaint stuff. Um, eventually, if you keep... Eventually, if you... No, nah, messing up my words. Guys, I'm not feeling 100% today, so I'm really messing up my words. So, gotta excuse me. I'm pulling through. And that being said, make sure y'all hit this like and subscribe button because through thick and thin, I'm going to be here for you. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It helps my channel out. All right, so <laughs> definitely lower control arm on this side. Let's check the upper. Nope. Perfect. So, the dealership. Let's see. Well, I haven't looked at the top yet. I'm going to bring it on down. But as far as what they recommended, they did about 70%, well, 80% good, I'd say. So, Thumbs up to you, GM. Superior, Superior Chevrolet. <laughs> On this one. Yes. We don't know so, what else y'all be doing. You know. Uh, they had probably had somebody good looking at the truck. Maybe they didn't mention the leak because... I don't know. They should have mentioned the leak. That's like leaving money out of their pocket. Because um, the customer, pretty sure they don't want their vehicle leaking. So let's let it down now and check the top. Check the engine bay area. And we'll see what else they missed. Or this may be it. All right, it looks like it has new belts. Alrighty, I see some look like oil cooler lines leaking pretty well, seeping. As you see, they're very wet down here. So I'm gonna recommend some oil cooler lines. Can you see? Can I get a better angle on those lines? Yeah, those are oil cooler lines. Can you see them down there? Yeah. And zoom in. Yeah, you see all that wetness and dirt build up. I don't know why they didn't recommend that. That's, like I said, GM is leaving money on the table and putting their customers at risk of destroying their engine by, you know, ignoring oil leaks. That should be one of those things that you want to point out as soon as possible. Hey, you look like your truck is losing oil from blase blase. Well, in this case, or a cool line. Alrighty, so look like they just missed that one thing. Uh, oh, I'm not going to move with that. I, figured that yeah. I don't do the transmissions. <laughs> so, pretty good, I say. Jim, you just missed one thing. So my hat goes off to you. And this dealership is Superior Chevrolet Indicator on Covington Highway. Um, they've been there for a good little minute and seem like they got some solid techs over there. So shout out to y'all. No, I'm not calling no one out today, which is, man. Bro. I wouldn't say all that. I mean, they diagnosed sus suspension. I could have did that. I wouldn't. <laughs> no, nah, we're not about to sit up here and get them no cookie. I give a cookie. Come better. Okay. Yeah, they, they definitely need to come better. Yeah, because um, we don't know what else. Because we could say they're good, and then somebody goes there, and then, oh, they bad. Yeah, but it it also depends on the tech, whoever work on the vehicle, too. Uh, so I'm going to go talk with the customer and let her know my findings, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll see if I can make this as a repair video, or I'm probably going to give it to one of my guys so they can stay busy. We're a little slow this, this week. So I'm probably, you know, give them the give them now. The work. Let me take off my wife hat and uh, film lady hat and put on my uh, manager hat. I don't did, we, hit. <laughs> did we take pictures and document that and send to her? What? If not, we need to. Um, I don't think so. All right, Alex, let's get in gear. Well, let's we, do I that. I just found it. What's talking about? We just got the problem. I'm about to tell her now and take pictures. Oh, okay. You're right. You, you, she getting on See, I said, no I said I had to put on, take off my hat. Then let me put my film hat back on. Guys, I'm trying to fix this little grommet. It was like hanging up in here like so. What 
what could happen over time this um sharp edge right here can rub through the wire rub through the split loom and cause some electrical problems in the future so i'm just kind of courtesy fixing it because it just popped out bam it's supposed to look like that so it's the simple things guys you see something fix it if it's gonna take two seconds of your time you know i like to do little things like that makes me a better auto doctor what you think mm -hmm. now i should have checked this oil before but you're blinding me oh, i'm sorry but i didn't all righty so let me go talk to the customer take some pictures and we'll go from there i was able to get her to approve my recommended repairs me and my guys already knocked everything out let's take a look at the old parts so this is the ball joint that was loose. I'm probably not gonna be able to show you. Um, probably have to be here so I can show you, but we went ahead and opted for the whole lower control arm. Um, these were so rusted in there, so I just ended up cutting them off, the sway bar links. Uh, this was the main focal point for the oil leak. Um, I think I was trying to show you, but these rubber hoses, they start seeping oil real bad. And as you can see, it's all grimy, full of dirt. Remember guys, anytime you see any type of dirt attracted to some type of metal surface, that means there's a leak there present. Um, this was the gasket was, I think it fell on the ground, but they always leak from this gasket right here. This is actually a, a thermostat. It's like a heated controlled thermostat. And when it, the oil reaches a certain temperature, it will start the cooling process. So that's pretty cool. I don't, I see this often on the later model vehicles. But let's go take a look at the work and see what we got. And I kind of give you the, I'm sorry I wasn't able to show you, you know, my camera lady was off and I- I sure was. Yeah, I didn't have time <laughs> to film. I had to tend to but the children. I will tell you the process what it took to get this line out because it was kind of a booger. But as you can see, new control arm, sway bar links. Um, this bolt did break, so I had to heat this up and extract a bolt. It was a pain in the butt. Um, sway bar link, so it shouldn't be doing none of that knocking stuff. I haven't drove it yet, but I'm about 100% sure that it's not gonna be doing that noise anymore. Now, <laughs> For this line, as you can see, it's really tight up in here. So we dropped the drive shaft um, and then we were still left with a problem. We couldn't get that big block to slide through. So we disconnected the motor mounts. There's three bolts up there. And I jacked the engine up to gain enough room to slide it out. So that's how we did it. It's pretty easy after that. Of course, we don't put back up the splash guard so i can't really show you the new lines but take my word for it they're they're on there now i sprayed down this area because like i always tell you good people anytime you make a repair make sure you clean the area up really well that way when the vehicle comes back or doing your test drive you will know hey i cleaned this area and it shouldn't be no more witness versus just leaving it come back oh it was already like that and you never know and it'll cost you an engine so very important step let's go for a ride sweetie okay. i know you like these big trucks i know <laughs> it's a big sexy truck wait a minute you good all right let's sit that on I might take you to space and back <laughs> rocket ship at least we got a sunny day. Yesterday was like 16 degrees. Yesterday was awful. So I'm gonna basically do what I did before. Um, go uh, like a minute, 30 second drive, about 30 second drive down the road and go in this parking lot and do the same turns. and Just double check, triple check your work. Like I always say, that is gonna be my slogan. Double check, triple check. We. screeching away. Perfect. Very happy. And 
When I'm happy, my customers are happy. So bouncy. Yeah, we're doing it on purpose. Uh-oh, uh -oh, police, they're trying to get me. <laughs> Being blocked in, one from each direction. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> it is the popo. Yeah. That's your sheriff. They looking for somebody. Got to be. All right, let's see you back at the shop. All right, good people, that is a job well done. Put my final touches on it because, like I always say, get the customer vehicle back better than when you received it. That's my other slogan. All right, good people, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you like, please hit that. If you liked it, please hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, love you. Alex the Car Doctor.